Here in Lynchburg, a crowd of over 19,000 fans had one thing on their mind, beat Coastal. And that's exactly what Liberty did on Saturday afternoon in Lynchburg, Virginia. Let's check out the action between the Shauna Clears and the Flames. And boy, it did not take long for David Bennett's team to get into a hole. Second play from scrimmage, Mike Brown from five yards out. It's seven nothing Flames. Then after a turnover, it's Aldricus Allen finding the end zone. Six yards. It's 14 nothing just five minutes into the game. And Coastal was reeling. Brown, one of the best players in FCS football. His second touchdown makes it 21 0, and Coastal was just caught in a myriad of Liberty firepower. Peter Galliardi, with his 32 yard touchdown catch, made it 42 0. But give credit to Coastal for making an attempt at coming back into this game late in the first half. Aramis Hillary with the pass to Chris Presley at the half. It's 42 to seven. And then Coastal would score two consecutive times in the third quarter. Here's Hillary to Adrian Sullivan. It covers 44 yards. And then Demario Bennett, the wide receiver, throwing it to Matt Hazel. Coastal's down 42 to 21, but it was all Liberty from there. The Flames simply dominant on Saturday night in Lynchburg, Virginia. 63 to 27 is your final. Coastal Carolina drops to four and two, and the Shauna Clears know that the Flames are in the driver's seat in the Big South race. Um, it's hard to win, you know, with a lot of turnovers like that. Um, we got to do a better job of taking care of football, you know, as an offense. You know, we can't. There's no no one to blame. You know, we just. Blame ourselves as a unit. Tougher for us older guys. You know, they're young and they're more, way more resilient uh, as young guys, and that's what we're going to have to be. We'll have a little resiliency this week. The coach and I will break down a tough night for Coastal Carolina football coming up Sunday at noon on the David Bennett Show right here on News Channel 15. In Lynchburg, Virginia, I'm Rich Grampanis, News Channel 15 Sports.